seriously wearing the same thing I wore in my IMATS haul video because it's the same day. I just finished filming that. Okay, so as I was saying in my previous video about my IMATS haul, I went through all my products, but I didn't go through what I got from Mood Cosmetics. This deserves its own video. I spent a pretty good amount um, on this brand. So let me tell you something though before we start. 20 products? for only $76 for me. Go find a brand that is quality and you trust for your kit and try to see if you can buy 20 products for under $100. I don't think it's gonna work. I still consider Rude Cosmetics a indie brand because it's still new and a lot of people have heard about it. I discovered it at Riley Rose, blah, 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 blah. Riley Rose only carried a couple of their palettes so I didn't really get to go in depth with any of their other products until yesterday. So I'm just gonna show you the bag. When you go to IMAT, you get so many bags. So many bags. It's so bad. Um, and then I actually got this cute little brush. I don't know. I'm going to use it as a brush belt fanny pack thing. I don't know. I think it's really cute. So I got that as a free gift. And I don't even know where to start with this, you guys. Why don't we just be simple and start with skincare? Speaking about free stuff, I also got one of their Beyond Belief Purifying Charcoal Masks. And I also ended up buying a whole box. The box was only $3 for five. What? And they are made in Korea, so you can trust it. And I also bought this one called Fizzbiz. It's supposed to be a deep cleansing bubble mask. I've never used a bubble mask before, so that's definitely why I went and I grabbed this guy. I didn't know they actually had lashes, so I went ahead and bought two pair. They're called Korean Silk 3D Lashes, and they are... They are so cute. I am excited to try these on with a natural look. It's so extra. Anyway, so I got these two guys. Well then. So these guys were only $5 each. $5 lashes. So they look like fantastic quality. I can't wait to try them on. On the topic of eyes, they just came out with something super innovative that I've never seen before. It is a primer oil, but for eyeshadow. I was so stoked when I saw Rude Cosmetics post about this newer product. And then I was even more stoked when I found out it was only $3.50. So I went ahead and got this guy. I'm super excited to try it out because it's really innovative. A primer oil, like an eyeshadow primer oil that's also waterproof. We're gonna check that out. I also bought all the colors of their Peep Show Eyebrow Eyeliner Cream. When I swatched it on my hand, it came out super creamy and then it stayed and stayed on. It was, I don't know if it was waterproof, but it was definitely budge proof. Hi Anastasia. I got one in every color because I love them. My clients are gonna love them. The last thing I did get for the eyes was their two-in-one shimmering eyeshadow and liner. I actually, I actually have some of it on here. I, I like it, it's cute. I went ahead and went with the Topaz color, which is kind of like champagne pinky. Another kind of glitter product I got was this uh, Sparkle Me Till It Hurts body and eye glitter. No, oh, you can't see it. But this is what I have on my cheeks as a highlighter. Wow, you cannot see how awesome it is. It goes on like a jelly product. Um, it's kind of cool to the touch. And then once it's on, it stays set which is crazy because glitter is a nightmare. It's one of those nightmares that you really love. I really wish you could see the holographic flex in it. It's just, it's just not working out. But just know, this is really cool. One more thing with eye products before we move on. I got this Surgically Precise Makeup Eraser. Homeboy comes with three little tips and what it is is it basically, if you're trying to sharpen out your wing liner or you're trying to fix a mistake, instead of going back and messing up your foundation with trying to like conceal it and all this stuff, supposedly, I haven't tried it out yet, you take this guy and you kind of swipe through it and it doesn't mess up your complexion products, um, do your eyes first anyways. It just makes it easier to correct. So I definitely want to try that guy out. We can move on now to complexion. For complexion, I only got a couple of different things. One of the things I did get was the under eye mineral setting powder. I found this to be kind of similar to the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder. And then I also got one of their pressed powders. Um, I've been actually having a hard time finding a pressed powder that matches my skin tone. This guy matches my bare skin really nice, so it's called Stop the Pressed. It doesn't have a lot of coverage on it, but you can build it up 
and it's really good for touch-ups. And I also got some of their sculpting concealers. So I got one in a highlight shade and I got one in a contour shade. This guy is Mocha, this is Nude. Uh, they come in an array of colors that are perfect for highlight and contour. I also did use this guy underneath my eyes today. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm wide awake even though I'm super tired. Last but not least, lip products that I got. So right now, I'm like really obsessed with this. So this guy's called Save My Lips. It's a moisturizing lip oil. It's, it looks like it's pink, but it's not. And it is, a little goes a long way. It's so hydrating and my chapstick can leave me now because I just broke up with it to get with this. So, Save My Lips Moisturizing Lip Oil. I, I, I check it out, I don't know, I really like it. I did get a lip primer, which is kind of just like a clear, um, just kind of like a clear lip liner, but instead of just outlining your lips, you can put it on your entire lips, and it just gives it like a bit of a, a really good base to put your lipstick on. And the last product I got was the Rude Magnificent Liner. It's a lip liner, lip color pencil. I really like it. It's almost the exact color of most people's lips. This would do really well as a base for other colors. That's it for my Root Cosmetics haul from the IMATS LA 2019. Super stoked about all of these products. If you guys want to see any swatches on Twitter or Instagram or my blog, please let me know. If you have any questions about the products, please let me know. There is so much that Root Cosmetics has that I didn't even buy yesterday, so I can't wait to go on their website and spend some more money when I have it. I don't. I don't right now. I'm about to put a big hole in my wallet, but it's okay because guess what? My kit is refilled. I discovered new brands and also Rude Cosmetics, you guys. So thank you for tuning in to this really short video. I just wanted to talk about Rude Cosmetics. They're based here in Los Angeles. Their products are not made in China. They're made in the Czech Republic. I really hope I pronounced that right. And their skincare is made in Korea. I checked this out. The price point is great and who knows how long it's gonna be like that. So enjoy it now before the rest of the world discovers Rude Cosmetics. Don't forget to subscribe to me and like this video. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for visiting.